Come on, little camera, get it together. Welcome back to Brew City Builds and welcome to part two of the Upstairs Makeover. My name's Marcel. If you haven't watched part one yet, I highly suggest that you pause this video now, go back and watch that one since I kind of skim over a few things that I go into more detail in the other video. So back to part two. This is gonna kind of serve as a multi-purpose space. It's gonna be Ben's office. It's also gonna be like a little chill zone and an extra place for guests to sleep. I'm gonna be building a built-in shelf for the books. I also wanna make a partition wall. We have this giant column in the middle of the room that is definitely an eyesore, but it's something we have to hire out to get rid of. So we're gonna wait on that and I'm just gonna try and incorporate it into the design for now. I'm also gonna be color blocking a quarter of the room with like a neutral earthy tone. The aesthetic I'm going for is monochromatic chill vibes for this side. I'm excited to get started and finish this off. So let's go. Here we go again. I'm pretty much doing the same thing for this side as far as demo goes. Luckily, I don't have anything big like that bookcase from the last vid, so that's good. So yeah, I'm about to rip out the carpet, the padding, and what I'm assuming is another million staples. First thing I'm gonna do is rip out this closet rod that's in the middle of the room because if I don't, I know I'm gonna hit my head like a million times. I gotta say, it's kinda nice knowing what's coming since I did the first half already. I'm just hoping that there aren't any big surprises under the remaining carpet. to the echo chamber. Once I took the carpet out of here, the acoustics got super weird and echoey. But the floors are pretty good. There wasn't as many staples to remove as the other side, so I'm not bummed about that. I'm about to get to work on the walls. It seems like they spackled all the cracks in the walls, but didn't sand and then just painted over it. So I'm gonna have to sand everything down and then I'm gonna refill it with some wood filler and then I'm gonna sand it again and then it'll be ready to paint. I decided to move to the stairs to get rid of some of the echo, but I can still hear it. As I'm sitting here, I'm getting super pumped because once I finish the upstairs, I'm moving to this area. I have something really cool planned for in here, but I still have a lot to get through upstairs, so I'm not gonna talk about it yet. So I'm about to start painting. I want that back area to be like a little cozy nook, so I'm doing block coloring to really separate the two spaces. I'm going to be using the color Mesa Taupe by Bear in a flat finish. Ben and I got the color inspiration from his vintage office chair that we both really love, so we're going with that. We're going for like a monochromatic vibe, so I'm painting all the trim and all the cabinet doors the same color but in a satin finish. So I'm just going to do a little bit more white paint that I did on the first part of the makeover and then I'm going to tape it off and we can start painting that Mesa Taupe. All right, it's time to finish up these floors. I'm using the same 12 by 12 black vinyl tiles that I used on the first half. If you have any questions about them or wanna look into them more, I'll definitely have them linked in the description box below. 
I'm pumped to get through this part because the floor adhesive is kind of annoying to work with and then those old floors will never be seen again. The floors are donezo. Thank you very much. I just got a boatload of these one by twos, so now I can start working on the partition wall. I already built the frame for this. I figured out that the ceiling is at a 30 degree angle pitch, so I cut the wood corners at 30 degrees and then I attached them with some wood glue and some one and a half inch brad nails and a nail gun. It's pretty amazing that I got these one by twos pre sanded and pre primed. It saves me a ton of work and it also saves me a bit of money because just the raw pine was like $3 more a piece. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to attach all these to the frame so that it looks good and perfect since there's a lot of angles and a lot of cuts. partition wall turned out way better than I was expecting. I was nervous about getting all those measurements and angles right, so I ended up just laying the 1x2s down with some spacers and then laying the frame on top of that, marking the line, and then going for it. I'm sure that's not the right way to do it, but it definitely worked. So now I'm moving on to the final thing that I'm building for this space, which is the shelf for Ben's books. I got some pre-sanded pre-prime 1x8s that I think are going to be the perfect size. I already cut the wood and built the frame, so now I just have to attach the shelves and then it'll be ready to paint. Okay, no more building stuff. It's time to move everything back in. cozy corner that's coming together over here have you heard the term man spreading i bought this chair in brooklyn like 10 years ago and it's just been sitting in the basement so i'm very happy that it's out and being used again at this point it's time to start bringing in all the cute little things to bring this room together so let's do final touches <laughs> as done as it's gonna get for now so let's take a look So happy that another floor in this house is finished. I'm also really glad that I broke this up into two parts because it was a lot. I know I covered a lot in this video, so definitely let me know if you have any questions. 
And I for sure want to hear what you think about all the changes, so tell me all about it in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed yet, you definitely should because I have a lot more stuff coming up. And while you're down there, feel free to hit that little like button and the bell icon so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. So now that the upstairs is done, it's time to move on to that stairwell. I have a cute little guest star in that vid, so I can't wait to share it. Anyway, I hope you're having a happy and healthy 2022, and I'll see you soon. Bye.